Alright guys, so we're currently here on the Archon, and in today's video, we're actually going to be doing our first 24 hours on the Archon Origins Realm. We had an insane first 24 hours of the map, and I'm actually super excited to finally be playing Skyblock again. I don't think I've played it for like over a month, actually, like actually played Skyblock in over a month, so I'm super excited to be back, guys. And also, boys, I'm going to be doing a playing with fans series, so if you guys do want to join my island for the next video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like today's video, comment down your IGN below, and why you actually want to join my island. But yeah, guys, let's just get straight into the video. All right, guys, so I just logged into the server a couple minutes ago, and as you guys can see, it is a lot after reset. There's not as many players on anymore. Everybody logged off pretty much. Not everyone. There's still a lot of people on, but it is about eight hours after the reset, and I just got on the server. Now, if you guys don't actually know what I'm going to be doing this map, I'm going to be doing a playing with kind of fan series, I guess you could say. So on here, I'm going to be playing with you guys. I'm going to be inviting a bunch of you guys to my island. So if I do such I as top. Uh, I think the top uh, islands have 14. I think that's the highest amount you can have. So that means I have 13 spots in my island to invite 13 of you guys. So if you guys want to join my island, make sure to leave a comment down below with your IGN. Like today's video. Make sure you're subscribed, obviously. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, let me know why you want to be on the island. Comment that down below too. And uh, maybe I'll slide you guys an invite by next video. I'll slowly start inviting people. But anyways, let's just get straight into the video. So if I type slash EC real quick, you guys can see we actually have two February crate keys right here or uh, monthly crates. So we're going to go ahead and open these. This should help us get a little head start and get a little boost in our stuff. We're not even going to be playing for Island Top. Well, we are, but we're not going to get top five. I don't think so. That's why we're giving two of these. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair. Now, if I do such trash, I'm going to get rid of all of this loot. So I actually don't need this stuff in here. I'm just going to get rid of most of this stuff here. And then we'll have a bunch of inventory space for our monthly crate. So let's just go ahead and place this one down right here. And we have 10 different slots to open. I'm going to spend all of these. That is very loud. I'm going to have to turn down my sounds for the next monthly crate. But hopefully, we can get something good, boys. I really want to get silverfish spawners i just saw some go by did we get any so oh we got two we got three silverfish spawners boys that's actually super good we got uh, another uh what did, what all did we get we got a basic robot archon pass skip we got a bunch of crate keys we got an iron golem disguise we got a lot of stuff guys that was really good i will gladly take all that stuff that we just got out of that monthly crate that was really good i'm super hyped about the three silverfish spawners because i think these are worth like I don't even know how much. I know you can sell them for like billions and billions of dollars per single silverfish spawner. So these things are super overpowered. They make you a ton of money as well. Now, if I left click on this, I think we did get, yeah, we got five legendary crate keys. We got two vote crates. I think that was from just me AFKing on the server earlier, not from a crate key. But yeah, we got five of these. I'll open those in a little bit, but I want to open the last February crate right here. So let's just go ahead. I'm going to turn my sounds down a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to be super loud. So let's just go ahead and pop this last February crate open right here. We got 10 more slots to get. Hopefully, I'm hoping for more silver spawners maybe a rank i just saw a diamond rank emerald rank go by let's see what we'll get oh uh did we get spawners we got a chest bundle we got a super tool bundle that's gonna be super helpful ice fishing rod skin i have no idea what that is we got an event bundle more crate keys more crate keys uh money pouches we got four tier three money pouches that's gonna be super helpful to for us to get started off oh we got access to a kit february for 28 days that's actually pretty good i will gladly take that boys this wasn't even too bad of an opening oh okay this is our super tool set we, so we got a bunch of good pickaxes axe shovel a sword and a bow as well a punch three bow that's actually pretty cool we got a lot of stuff out of this a lot of mcmo pouches as well that's going to be incredibly helpful i want to use all of those on probably my fishing uh mcmo skill because i think that's pretty much imp that's pretty important for uh this map because i'm pretty sure the eco is fishing so i might use all my mcmo points on my fish we also got a farmable chest that's going to be super helpful and an infinity chest that can store up to 50 million island levels in blocks that is going to be super nice we got cost and everything too we got so much stuff guys so if i right click this right here we have 10 legendary keys did we get any other keys from that uh no i don't think so that's still 10 legendary keys so that's still a ton of open so there's one i'm gonna do you guys obviously don't want to watch me sit here and open 10 legendary keys that's going to take forever so i'm going to take a cut here and i'll bring you guys back once i open all the crate keys and show you guys what i get all right guys so i just got done opening all those legendary crate keys there was 10 of them and i also opened two vote crate keys because why not and this is everything we got so we got five enderman spawners five blaze spawners we got a condensed one with unlimited uses that's pretty uh helpful right there we got five creeper spawners five zombie pig spawners seven beacons three of the machines i think i know what those do it's pretty much for crafting recipes i'll explain more about that later and we also got 16 emerald blocks which will help with a little bit of island value but it's not that great i stored everything else that i got in my uh, pv right here so i'll just shove all of this in here this is everything we got from those monthly crates so so that is pretty good i will 
gladly take all those. So we do have some of these tier three money pouches and MCMO pouches. So I'm gonna go ahead and take another cut and I'm gonna open all of these guys and I'll bring you guys back when I'm done opening these and we'll see how much money we have. All right, guys. So I just got done opening all those money and MCMO pouches. And if you look on the scoreboard, you guys can see I have nearly $5 million, which I'll gladly take. And if we do such redeem here, I don't know where it's actually gonna say how much we have. But if I scroll up in chat, I think we got, uh, we have, ooh, we have a thousand and three MCMO credits. It says it right there in chat. So yeah, I'll gladly take that guys but yeah now that we got all those uh monthly crates and all that loot out of the way i think it is finally time to create the island boys so if i go ahead and do such is create uh let's see what theme do you want to go with i think we should just go with the basic one because i want to actually do my island a little bit different with this time so i'm going to make the default skyblock island right here the most basic one everybody probably knows about this one we don't really need this chest so i might honestly just like do my kit partner and just like break this i get this thing out of here just get rid of it boom i kind of want to make it a bunch of big grinders and kind of more spread out instead of having a, like a big island in the way and taking up a lot of space so i think that's what we're gonna do this season boys but yeah now that we have the island up i think we should probably start off by making a grinder for all these spawners so if i do such robots i think i want a robot as well yeah we have a basic robot right here this can be used to kill a bunch of mobs and uh it will be giving us a lot of loot we can automatically be stored and stuff i need to get like a cell chest and all that too but yeah we should be able to figure that out i want to make a grinder that's probably the first thing we'll do in today's video so yeah boys i'm gonna clear up this island this little like small island right here and i'm gonna make a little bit of a grinder thing i'll show you guys you'll understand what it looks like when i bring you guys back in the next clip but yeah i'm gonna take a cut here and i'll bring you guys back once i have the island looking a little bit better and we're ready to make a grinder all right guys so i just got done expanding out all these platforms so if i go to f5 here you guys can obviously see this is kind of what i was going for right here so we're gonna have a bunch of quartz stuff these are gonna be two separate grinders right here this is just a platform so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in the center of this platform right here somewhere in here and i'm gonna make like a little xp grinder for all the spawners like blazes and creepers and this kind of stuff that don't really make money and then over here we'll have a grinder for like silverfish spawners and like iron golems all the spawners that are gonna make us a ton of money Money will be placed over here and i'm not quite sure what we're gonna do in these two spots right here maybe like a chest storage room and a grinder for island level value which will be a whole nother video because that's gonna take a long time and it's gonna be a whole concept i'm actually hyped to do that one over there and then is what i'm thinking is we'll probably have like a little tree farm down there for our trees that we get from wood cutting and maybe something above like a pumpkin farm because i heard pumpkins were good i don't know if pumpkins are good tell me what the best kind of farm is like sugarcane or cactus or like pumpkin farms i have no idea comment that down below boys which kind of farm should i do but yeah this is kind of what i meant i'm gonna have like four corners here and then it'll go out a little bit more and maybe have like stuff on the sides too i don't know it'll probably be a main four though but yeah boys i'm gonna go ahead and get to work on the grinders the xp grinder and the actual money grinder so i'll just bring you guys back when i have those finished all right guys so as you can probably tell i finished both of the grinders and i honestly think it looks pretty good i mean the last time i built the grinder it was very bad and these are honestly an improvement i think so so, I mean, I kind of like it the way it's looking right now. So let me give you guys a little bit of a tour. So right over here, we have our XP mob grinders or spawners. We got blazes, creepers, zombie pigmen, and endermen. Endermen aren't really an XP grinding one because if I go down here, uh, you can see they're probably going to like teleport away or something. Uh, yeah, and I need to fix that too. There is... Um, they're, they kind of like get pushed up into the water so i'm gonna try to fix that as well and uh yeah other than that it should be pretty good i need to turn it into a little bit of a drop down instead of just like that i kind of forgot to add the drop down part so they're just kind of here and you can hit them up into the water which gets annoying but i mean other than that it's pretty good and then right over here we do have our money spawners i did tp an alt in here so i can have this afking overnight and even when i'm not in the area loading the spawners so but yeah right over here we have our money spawners so we are gonna have spawners in here like uh silverfish iron golems that kind of stuff that is gonna make us up bunch of money now if i fly down here i actually added a second layer for right here there's, there's gonna be a whole another second layer for like collection areas but not right now i'm not gonna add that in right now but as you can see we actually have a chunk hopper right here leading into a bunch of chests right here and uh all the nether stars should be going into here so yeah that's our pretty good little grinder we got going right here i also had a robot that i got from the uh monthly crates I place that down right here and it's obviously killing all the things and then, then uh, it gets collected in the chunk hopper. So yeah, that's how we got everything going so far. But yeah, boys, it is getting pretty late for me right now. So I'm going to head to bed and I'll bring you guys back tomorrow morning and we'll finish off today's video and hopefully we can get some grinding done or something. All right, guys, so it is now the next day. It is currently about 2 p.m. and I just got on. Well, not actually just got on. I'm just recording for the first time now. I've made a little bit of changes to the island. I added like a little bit of a staircase here to get down to the second layer pretty easy. I added a chest just to store some stuff up and an infinity chest here so i can put like all the block value i have like diamond blocks and emerald blocks and i expanded the grinder like collection thing over here but um the grinder has been afking for probably 11 hours now okay that's i haven't sold it for 11 hours 
and let's take a look at how much nether stars we have two three four five six nearly seven dubs of nether stars that's gonna be selling for a ton of money guys so just to give you guys a little bit of an idea how much this actually sells for i'm going to take out about an inventory full of nether stars and we're gonna sell all of it so i want to pv all my tools and stuff so i can get like an actual full inventory so if i go ahead and take like a full inventory a full uh i think it's 200 and 2,304 is like a full inventory. If I take that much nether stars, click right here. That is going to sell for $8 million, a little bit over $8 million. So that's a lot of money, boys. I'm pretty sure I started this clip with about $8 million. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sell all these nether stars. And I'll bring you guys back when I'm done selling them and show you guys how much money I have. All right, guys. So I just got done selling all of the nether stars. If I go down here, you guys can actually see all of the chests are empty now. There's only a little bit just from um, when I got done selling them. Some went through the hoppers and stuff. But yeah, all this uh nether stars from the swordfish are gone and if i do such value you guys can see i have 99.3 million dollars so we almost made a hundred million dollars from that so i already had about eight million dollars on my balance so i would say it made about 91 million dollars overnight well it was a little more than overnight because i woke up and i didn't sell it right away because i didn't want to record right when i woke up but uh, i would say it's about 11 hours made me about 90 million dollars and all i needed was three silverfish spawners that's literally all i had up here was three silverfish spawners i also had my little robot down here which does give you extra nether stars when it kills it i think it has like a looting effect so if like five let's say five surface spawn it'll give you like six or seven nether stars so yeah it actually is really helpful but yeah moving on to the last thing i want to do in today's video is i actually want to go into the mob coin shop and i want to go into the limited time thing you guys can see there's evoker spawners in here for the next two and a half hours so if you guys don't actually know what evoker spawners are they drop one to four diamonds every single time you kill one of them i can put this in my money grinder have my robot automatically kill them and if i do such shop you guys can see if i go into ores one diamond sells for 125 dollars so that is going to be making us so much money so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to buy one of the evoker spawners i actually did go fishing in the morning got about 30,000 mob coins or so i just wanted to save this up to get my first evoker spawner and yeah we have one of those now so i can get rid of one of these obsidian little things right here and uh, i'll place down the evoker spawner right here and there we go we placed it down that should be spawning somewhere pretty soon and then it should just go down here and it'll go into the hopper system oh yep the evokers just spawned right there there's three of them and they should get killed by the robot uh is it gonna get killed okay yeah it's killing it right now it's going really slow i don't know why okay yeah just killed all of them which is just fine it, i don't really care how long it takes but that should have gone in the chunk hopper maybe it's all the way down already maybe it goes like super fast i don't know yeah so as you guys can see there's 11 diamonds in here now uh i don't know why but there's an obsidian i don't really want that but the 11 diamonds let's go ahead and sell these that was like no time at all that right there sold for over a thousand dollars so imagine leaving that one evoker spawner overnight that's gonna make millions of dollars that's gonna be insane guys and now imagine if i had like i don't know like 20 like a stack of these imagine i had 64 evoker spawners like i'm gonna try to save up a lot of these and that's gonna make us a ton of money guys and yeah guys if you want to know how to get the evoker spawners it'll pretty much occasionally it'll come up in the mob coin shop you can buy like a certain amount of them right now you could buy 20 of them i already bought one so it's only 19 more available for me so you can buy them then and is what you do is you pretty much go to such fish and then you go to the lake and you want to unlock the new lakes but right now everybody starts on the harbor like you want to try to get all the way up as far as you can or you can say that this one doesn't really matter and then you go ahead and get yourself a rod you want to rank your way up the rods but so obviously you have to start with the old rod and then you want to get the mob coin bait so i'm gonna buy let's just say i'll buy uh i'll buy a stack because i'll end up using it later but if you buy some mob coin bait and then you just go over here and you throw your cast your rod into the the uh, lake and then you should be able to catch some fish that give you like anywhere from 200 to like 600 mob coins each so yeah boys this is a super good method to make mob coins and i'm pretty sure if you actually unlock the dolphin pet and get all the way up on the lakes and get yourself a mega rod you can be making i don't even know how much i think it's hundreds of thousands of mob coins every like 10 to 20 minutes it's it's so much it's so insane guys but yeah boys i'm gonna be grinding super hard until the next video and uh is what i want to do in the next video is i actually want to unlock this dolphin pet right here so i currently have 59 fish catched i want to get that to a thousand and get the dolphin pet it's gonna cost me 25 million dollars but it's definitely worth it because it decreases your rod real time so you can catch fish faster and also double and triples your fishing drops so this is going to be super helpful i also want to try to get up to the apprentice rod or something Something like that and get higher on the lakes and such fish maybe get up to arctic or crystal cavern that'd be super helpful and obviously i'm gonna work on saving up a bunch of money and mob coins and getting as many evoker spawners as i can but yeah boys i'm gonna end off today's video here if you guys didn't enjoy make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new let's try to hit 100 likes on today's video and let's try to hit 5,000 subscribers soon and also if you guys do want to join my island make sure to comment your ign down below like today's video subscribe to the channel do all that stuff and comment down why you want to join my island and maybe i'll invite some of you guys to the next video
But yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Peace.